May 1996. All the trains are gone. No way back now to sleep at mum and dad's in your old bed. It's a doorstep or a park bench, and you've done that before. Or stay up all night, walk out along the Thames, melt into the dark, just like in London, wandering the snow alone on the heath till the stark trees frame the red-eyed dawn. It's 1 a.m. and the bar fills up, packed, crowd shaking with bass, drunk, blurs, faces, and some raster woman climbs up on the bar and keeps dancing, everyone dancing or yelling at each other. She peels her top down to her waist, casual as Saturday night, and words snap you into conversation towards nothing. Someone says, what do you know about it? And you look them in the eye and say, I've seen a few things. And there's this guy who's been hitting on you quite sweet about it, punk with a face like Robbie Williams. And the excuse you use is that you have nowhere to sleep. So, when the bar kicks out, you say, and mean it, that all you want is a bed. But you touch the rough of his unshaved cheek and you kiss him. And it's like a split second key turn. Your whole way you hold yourself shifts from masculine turning into girl. Was there a fraction of an instant when you chose this, said yes, yes to be soft and not have to hold up anymore, yes to lean into him, no longer pulled into being male by the closeness of a girl, you soften while he is as male as a sailor and you cleave to him, two of you staggering somewhere in the unknown streets. And you, liking this yin-yang switch into girl, not knowing how this will fuck with you when you sober up, you say yes to all of it, fluid, delicious threat. Thank you.